Welcome to Time of Death. This video is for informational purposes and in no way meant to glorify or condone violence. In today's video, we'll be discussing the murder of Jose Ramos Jr. Ramos was stabbed to death on Sunday, January 23, 2011 in the 8700 block of Bradhurst Street in Pico Rivera, according to LA County Coroner Records. Gabriel Gonzalez, Thomas Resendez, Colt Sanchez, and Roxanne Calleros were subsequently arrested and charged with the murder. The following is the evidence at trial. On January 23, 2011, victim Jose Ramos was stabbed to death while attending a birthday party for his girlfriend, Miss Chagoya, at her house in Pico Rivera. Ramos was 18 years old at the time and Chagoya was turning 19. The party was by invitation only for Chagoya's family and friends, many of whom had attended high school with her and Ramos. The party was held in the backyard of Chagoya's house and guests entered through a metal gate that opened inward to the backyard. Approximately 20 to 40 guests attended the party. Although a number of them were drinking alcohol, no one appeared to be drunk. At one point, the police asked that the volume of the music be lowered without ordering any guests to leave. Shortly after midnight, defendant Roxanne Calleros, who had attended high school with Chagoya but had not been invited to the party, tried to gain entry through the gate. She was accompanied by a group of about seven to nine people, including defendant Sanchez, Gonzalez, and Resendez, who were members of Pico Nuevo. Chagoya did not know any of the men who were with Calleros and did not invite any Pico Nuevo gang members to her party. Defendant Calleros and her companions initially were met at the gate by Munoz and Iso, two of Chagoya's guests. As Munoz was attempting to close the gate after letting in two of his friends, Calleros stopped him from doing so and repeatedly asked him to allow her group into the party. Munoz told her that it was not his party and he had to get permission because she had a lot of people with her. Munoz then made eye contact with victim Ramos, who walked over to the gate. As Munoz turned to talk to Ramos, Calleros and her companions began walking through the partially open gate. Ramos and Munoz initially were going to let them stay, but as more people followed, they became concerned there were too many people just pouring in. Ramos stepped in front of the group at the gate and held his hand up in a stopping gesture. He calmly told them that it was not his party and only family and friends had been invited. He also said that he didn't want to start anything. Calleros began arguing with Ramos and insisted that her group be allowed into the party. At some point, Chagoya, who was watching the events at the gate, heard Callero say, this is my hood. Although Callero said, don't push me or don't touch me, no one saw Ramos touch Calleros. The group with Calleros then rushed or pushed into the backyard and began fighting with Ramos and some of the other guests. During the fight, Ramos was stabbed and fell to the ground. The fighting ended when an unidentified Hispanic man who was with the uninvited group of people pulled out a semi-automatic gun and waved it at the guests. He then fired several shots into the air, causing the guests to drop to the ground and run for cover. The uninvited group fled the backyard and entered one or two vehicles, including a dark SUV, which sped away. After calling 911, Chagoya and her guests tried to render aid to Ramos, who was lying on the ground near the gate and struggling to breathe. Ramos sustained a total of three stab wounds, one of which was fatal. He was stabbed in the shoulder, abdomen, and chest, and died from the stab wound to the chest, which pierced his heart. The fatal wound was four and three quarter inches deep and went from front to back in a slightly downward angle. There were several abrasions to Ramos's face, but no defensive injuries to his hands or forearms. Chagoya testified that all of the men from the uninvited group of people participated in the fight, but she didn't know about Calleros. One of the men involved in the fight was Sanchez, who had a visible PN tattoo on his neck. Another man who participated in the fight had an outline of a PN tattoo on the back of his head. Chagoya saw Sanchez and one other person fighting with Ramos at the same time, and Sanchez was holding a knife during the fight. Chagoya then saw Ramos suddenly fall forward onto the ground. Munoz testified that all four defendants were among the group that forced his way into the party, and that Sanchez was one of the men who fought with Ramos. The fight started when an unidentified man punched Ramos as he was standing by the gate. That man made a jabbing motion towards Ramos' stomach and punched him twice before Ramos punched back. Sanchez then began hitting Ramos and making a thrusting motion towards his chest. Munoz didn't see Sanchez with a weapon, but Ramos' shirt appeared to be sticking to Sanchez's hand as they fought. Munoz testified that most of the people in the uninvited group participated in the fight. Officer Hang Ortega testified as an expert on criminal street gangs. There are five primary gangs in the Pico Rivera area, including Pico Nuevo, Pico Viejo, and Rivera. 
Pico Nuevo has at least 300 members and is a rival of Pico Viejo and Rivera. The primary activities of the gang include assault and battery, homicides, drug sales, possession of firearms, witness intimidation, gang graffiti, and robberies. Chagoya's house was located in the territory claimed by Pico Nuevo. Defendant Sanchez, Gonzalez, and Resendez all had tattoos signifying their membership in the gang. Sanchez, known as Little Joker, had a tattoo of Pico Nuevo that ran around his head and other prominent Pico Nuevo tattoos on his neck, arm, and upper torso. One tattoo showed a cartoon character pointing a gun and another indicated violence towards a rival gang. Gonzalez, known as Gunner or Little G, had large Pico Nuevo tattoos on his back and chest and a tattoo of the words Vieja Killer on his arm. Following the trial, the jury found each defendant not guilty of first-degree murder, but guilty of second-degree murder with true findings on the gang enhancement allegation. The court sentenced Colt Sanchez to state prison for 36 years to life, Gabriel Gonzalez to state prison for 30 years to life, and Thomas Resendez and Roxanne Calleros to state prison for 15 years to life. Jose Ramos Jr. was 18 years old at the time of death. 